What is going on, guys? Um, I want to throw, throw together another video for you guys. So AMC, AMC, I'm looking over here at my laptop. AMC up almost 45% today. Congratulations to all the AMC stockholders. Um, I currently, I don't have shares of AMC. Long story, I should probably save that story for another video. I actually have a really cool AMC story that I can share with you guys. But AMC stock price right now is sitting at $29.33. Why am I making a video on this? I haven't done an AMC video before. You know, a lot of eyes, I mean, there, that's a lot of momentum, guys. Like, that's almost 50% in a day. And the reason that I wanted to make a video on this is because this is what the market is looking for, for retail investors to get back interested in growth. I know a lot of my stocks, let me look at my laptop. And I can already hear it now. I can already hear the people. Oh, you're not prepared. You're looking at your laptop. Yes, I'm looking at my laptop. Um, but let me look at my laptop and see what prices. So Planet, th these are companies that I currently own. So Planet 13 was barely green for the day. Um, but Amazon up 2.5%. Tesla with a big day up 8%. PayPal up 2%, Coinbase. Coinbase one of my biggest uh is my biggest holding for a single stock. That stock was up 8% today. Teladoc Health almost up 5%, Neo stock up 6.5%. Honest up 5%. I know Honest just had a really bad day. Um and I just kind of wanted to like this is this is so we, we've had a few good weeks or about I'd say about a week that's been super strong in the markets. And we're starting to see a lot more retail money about, you know, coming back into growth. We're seeing a lot of retail money come back into growth. And AMC, even though I'm not an AMC stockholder, I'm not against any of the movement or anything that people are doing with AMC, but I do like to keep my eye on AMC because it's a good indicator it's a good indicator on what retail investors are currently thinking about the market. People, there has to be a level of confidence. There has to be a level of confidence that the markets has to have, retail investors have to have for that much money to get put in AMC today. Because guys, almost 50%, that is back in, you know, that's 2021 June numbers for AMC. So I don't think AMC seen a, seen a day that big since like June of last year. And what is mainly in AMC stock? Who who is going to be the people that buy AMC stock? It's going to be retail traders, retail investors, people like myself um, that are taking on more risk. You know, generally they're getting into growth stocks or whatever. And I'm not trying to you know say AMC from a valuation standpoint or anything like that. Is accurate, but when you're seeing you know companies like AMC right now going up that much, guys, forty five percent, jeez, forty five percent in a day, that's a big move. So congrats to all the AMC stockholders out there. Um, I have owned AMC before a little bit last year. It was actually a very short term play. Um, that worked out really good for me, but I usually don't like to do stuff like that. I try to keep this channel more of a longer term outlook. But another thing, another thing that I'm looking at right now, so not only did we see AMC go up 45% today, but we also saw cryptos. So Bitcoin had a really big day. Ethereum had a really big day. Bitcoin's on its way to 50,000 right now. Ethereum's back on its way to 4,000. So when you're seeing stocks like AMC and you're seeing Bitcoin and you're seeing Ethereum, that is a sign that retail investors, people that have left that were in the markets in 2020 are starting to put their money back into the market. Now, some of this could be hedge fund money, but I'm going to say most of it isn't. I'm going to say most of this volume is coming from retail because these are just, these are too, too small of, I'm not, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, who knows with that, but there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, economically, uh, interest rates, the dollar, all this stuff that people are kind of starting to 
focus on a little bit more and you're starting to see money come back into the markets. What's been, I mean, let's look and see what did the S&P finish out at just to get an idea of what growth's doing with the S&P. Yeah, so the, the Vanguard S&P 500 um, was up not even a percent. It was up 0 0.70. So you're seeing a lot more money and a lot more volatility right now on the upside coming into these growth stocks that were knocked down 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent. Crypto's held up pretty well. I know Bitcoin was sitting at the, you know, it went into the 30s, but it kind of crept its way back up into the 40s. But AMC, I mean, AMC hasn't really moved in a while. And to see all that money right now coming to AMC and the S&P 500 not even going up a percent today, we're starting, in my opinion, to see some definitely some rotation of money. We've seen the markets kind of go up for a week. Strong. I know my accounts have went up very strongly over the past five to seven trading days. Um, so it's overall a good sign for the markets. And when you're seeing, like I said, companies like AMC, Bitcoin, Ethereum, when you're starting to see companies like this go up at this type of pace, I mean, guys, almost 50%, that is retail volume. That is positivity coming back into the market and money coming back to the market. Now, will it hold? I mean, this could be a fake out. I'm not still necessarily sold. So I'm not necessarily sold that we've flipped the market around and we're headed back towards the upside. Um, I am seeing that the market is having back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back really solid days, a little bit more positive than what we were having there for the last 12, 14 months. But is it here to stay? I don't know. We're going to have to see how um, the markets want to keep playing out but I wanted to put, to get, put together a little aftermarket close video for you guys, kind of share my thoughts on AMC. You know, it just, it goes to tell me that people right now are coming back into the market that maybe, you know, got stomped out of the market over the past couple years, year and a half. So crypto's had a really good day. Coinbase, my stock, you know, it benefits off crypto and stuff like that. So very solid day for Coinbase. Very solid time for EVs too. I mean, NEO and Tesla's two stocks that I own. NEOs have, you know, had back to back to back, very solid days. Tesla having a really big day, seeing Tesla back over $1,000 a share. So super cool stuff, but I'll keep you guys posted. Kind of let you know if I'm doing anything in the markets. But yeah, overall right now, what I'm seeing is retail investors coming back into the market. Those are big moves in retail stocks. So we'll kind of see what, you know, happens in the uh, long term with that. But in the short term, it's nice. Congrats to everyone today that um, had their accounts go up. Let me know in the comments section, what is your opinions? Do you think today was a fake? Do you think this last week's a fake? What's your opinion on AMC stock? Do you think that more retail investors are coming into the market? Let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button if you enjoy the content. If you want to be notified for future content, scroll down there and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Appreciate the love and peace.